So uh, this is of huge significance in that, that, you know, there's a border. Whenever Ireland partitions, I'm talking about Southern Ireland from Northern Ireland, the rest of the United Kingdom, uh, we ended up with a border between Northern Ireland and the Free State. Now, effectively, what has happened as a result of the Brexit referendum is that, you know, there's four constituent parts in the United Kingdom, England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. I imagine the circumstances in where that there's a, a vote, a democratic referendum, and that the people in Northern Ireland are included in that vote. Everybody ticks the box, 17.4 plus million people voted to leave the EU, mm -hmm. and yet their democracy was denied to Northern Ireland in that, that three constituent parts, England, Scotland, and Wales, was treated completely differently from Northern Ireland. Now, effectively, what has happened in Northern Ireland is that we now have a border between us, I'm pointing out that way, which is Scotland, uh, on down the channel here a wee bit would be Isle of Man. It's England. a crooked border, but it goes yeah. across, doesn't so it? So we have a border in, in what we call this is the North Channel. Further on down would be the Irish Sea. And at this point, in at this port, if you want to turn around there, Simon, at this port in Man, uh, we now have checks on goods coming from England, Scotland and Wales. We have three ports in Northern Ireland. We have uh, Larne, we have Belfast, we have another port in Warren Point. And, and effectively speaking, the EU has dictated the circumstances whereby that they, they say that they want checks on goods coming to this part of the United Kingdom, Northern Ireland. Do you know what that's like? That's yeah. like somebody put in a checkpoint between your hallway and your dining room. Absolutely. You own both Absolutely. sides, yeah. but they're now checking yeah. everything in between. And the more bizarre thing is this, is that the British government have that agreed is. to it. And you need to be able to tell the people that are trying to, what's the best word? Ruin your, leg your kid's legacy, change your history, that you will do whatever it takes to keep that union. And unfortunately, today I'm not so sure that people understand that, and this is why the whole purpose of this documentary, but historically speaking um i don't think this has been or anything like this has been been done in in, in well the mainland of our country or anything like that that i can remember well, ever. i mean if you can look uh, at it i mean the, the guns those guns landed in uh 1914 uh, 1914 seven years before the foundation of northern ireland and the reason why those guns were landed was because that um you know carson he was he had foresight and he was gearing up actually to stand against the uh the aggression from the irish state mm -hmm. uh well it wasn't the irish state at that point but what they wanted is that they wanted home rule, they wanted an all uh, island as a, and they wanted to break the, this part of the island, uh, Northern Ireland, they wanted to break it away from the United Kingdom. Now, what is really interesting about that, like a hundred years later, here we are in exactly the same position. Uh, well, less the guns, yeah. of course. Right, well, we're off. Yeah. We'll catch you shortly. Hopefully it won't rain on us. We've been lucky. We've just about got away with it. It was a beautiful day yesterday, so whatever. But yeah, we're on to the next video, so I'll see you soon. Let me tell you a story of anger and glory of a young Belfast soldier, McFadden by name. For king and for country, young Billy died bravely. The VC on the field of the sun. Private Billy McFadden of the Union. Private Billy McFadden of the Union.